Hello there, in this video I'm going to introduce you the early preview of the Modern Exchange Online Admin Center. So here I am in me, my Office 365 test tenant and first thing I want to do is just to browse the Exchange Admin Center. As you can expect, you are going to see the classic Exchange Online Admin Center but, but from this classic Exchange Online Admin Center you can also access the modern experience. That as I, as I said before, is in a very early preview state. So, I will need to click on recipients. And as you can see here, we have a banner that is informing us that the Exchange Online team is working in the modern Exchange Online Admin Center. We can try it now. For now, we can expect only to have a mailbox management experience uh, modernized, but anything else that's not absolutely true because we have other modern themes but yeah most of the features remains in the classic experience so let's click in trade now yeah as expected this is the exchange admin center the modern one and the user experience is totally aligned with the modern experiences we have in the microsoft 365 admin center serpon admin center microsoft Teams admin center and so on so as i say for now we can manage in a com almost complete way the mailboxes we have in our exchange online tenant so for instance if i click or i select one of the mailboxes i have i have different actions in the action bar so as you can see here i can click on message site restrictions and a side panel opens where i can change the send messages maximum size or the receive messages maximum size as an example saying stuff with manage mailbox permissions so i can change who can read and manage my mailbox who can send us uh, my email address or sorry, that email address or who can send on behalf that email address i think for instance this user experience of managing mailbox permissions is not finished yet because yeah it's um, let's say uh, it looks incomplete in my opinion of course, I can click on the edit button and yeah, I can add permissions to other users in my tenant. And what happens if I click on just this mailbox? As you can expect, I'm going to have a mailbox details panel where I have different information about this mailbox and I can modify some of the settings I have here, such as, for instance, manage automatic replies. So I can enable or again disable if i enable i can just specify the message that is going to be automatically sent to all the senders inside the organization and also to all the senders outside the organizations from this mailbox um yeah you can just go through every of the settings you have here and see what the possibilities are if i click this mailbox details panel and I answer the mailbox as you can see here I can also add a shared mailbox if I go to the recipient section in the modern exchange on enemy center as you can see I can manage uh, mailboxes but also resources this means that I can't uh, so I can edit any resource I have in my exchange online tenant for instance, this main conference room is loading information. I can click on edit. I suppose I can do that. Yeah, it's working now. Perfect. So I can edit and I can change, for instance, the name of the resource. I can change even the email, capacity, location, and so on. Of course, as you can see here, I can add a new resource. And I can specify if this is an equipment or is a room. And as you can see here, I have to specify the name, the email, capacity, and so on. And yeah, I have a kind of wizard where that is going to allow to help me on creating this resource in Exchange Online. If we continue evaluating or examining what we have in the vertical menu, then we have the mail flow where we have very basic settings for Exchange Online, such as remote domains. You can add a remote domain additionally to the default one. This is because this is a test tenant. Accepted domains, of course, I have the on Microsoft.com one related to this test tenant. I can create a mail connector here. 
analysis trace, for instance, is not uh, is something that we don't have any functionality here because yeah, they are working on it. And finally, we have the migration part where we can yes, if we are migra migrating from uh, another mail platform that can be on premises, can be exchange or not, or even could be Google, we can start creating the migration batches over here. And um, again, we have a wizard experience for helping us defining the migration batch, no matter the source uh, from where we are migrating to exchange online. And that's all for now. So yeah, finally, it seems that we are going to have a modern exchange online admin center with a user experience that is aligned with the uh, other admin centers that we have in Office 365. Uh, I cannot tell you when this is going to be available because I guess this is going to be a work uh, that is going to take some time, something similar to what happened with the Serpon, modern Serpon admin center. And in case of the change, since we have so many settings, so many features uh, available, I think it's going to take a long time to modernize the classic exchange on admin center uh, and, uh, and to have all the features we have there in the new modern exchange online admin center. And that's all for my side for uh, for my side for, for today. I hope you have found this video interesting. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.